All right, we're back, and what a surprising beginning to this program. But right now, we've got action going ready to set up in the ring. And B.J. Whitmer and his manager, Brock Guffman, are there. Let's go to Haas for the introduction. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is a singles match. Introducing first, hailing from Cincinnati, Ohio, with his manager, Brock Guffman, B.J. Whitmer. And his opponent. Well, yes, B.J. Whitmer is the newest and brightest member of the A squad, led by Brock Guffman. He's going to be facing the young man from Chicago, Illinois, the World Wrestling Federation superstar, former Intercontinental, former European champion. We'll send it down to Haas to introduce you to D'Lo Brown. Hailing from Chicago, Illinois, he is D'Lo Brown. All right, D'Lo Brown out against B.J. Whitmer. And Jim, that first segment, I sat here with just my mouth hanging open. Well, all I I've never heard of a more disreputable, disheartening action than, than for easy money to bring that shyster lawyer out here. He was grip, dripping grease all over the ring and on a loophole, on a legal technicality, take away the championship that R.C. Haas won in the ring, that he won in memory of his brother, one of the most important ever done in his life and this son of a has to take it away from him man you're absolutely you know and of course money's been running around here the last couple weeks saying you know nobody pinned me i didn't lose my belt but i never you know to come out and challenge him to any kind of match with a stipulation i could have understood but to bring a lawyer to get the belt without firing a shot he didn't want to get his hands dirty he, he wanted in the boardroom not in the wrestling ring and as d'lo brown now back in bj whitmer up in the corner you know you just I get a bad taste in my mouth, and I hope you don't have any good friends that are lawyers. I get a bad taste in my mouth every time I think about an attorney. You know why snakes don't bite lawyers? Why? Professional courtesy. <laughs> D'Lo Brown, deep underhook on the arm drag, takes B.J. Whitmer over, and Brock Guffman is uh, certainly feeling the suffering and the pain of his man, member of the A-Squad, B.J. Whitmer now. You know, the thing with D'Lo Brown, we're talking about feuds. Charlie Haas certainly wants a piece of easy money. This thing with Steve Bradley and D'Lo Brown, it heats up, it seems to get hotter all the time. Well, Bradley and D'Lo Brown both, uh, I've heard they both uh, crow and talk about their hometowns. D'Lo Brown from Halstead Street in downtown Chicago, Illinois. That's a rough part of Chicago. And of course, Steve Bradley from Neyland Street, the combat zone of Boston. What a lateral press there by B.J. Whitmer, hooked the leg, but couldn't make it stick. Both D'Lo and Bradley, uh, they've got some bragging rights to their hometown's toughness, but Wait a minute, D'Lo Brown, my God, oh. he went for a full Nelson slam and Whitmer ducked under it. D'Lo Brown just fell right backwards and, and brought him head first down to the canvas. And now D'Lo trying to suck it up. It's gut check time for this man. Yeah, both athletes coming up slowly. Brown gets the first shot in, loops those right hands, blocking the punches or the attempts, I should say, of B.J. Whitmer. And D'Lo takes him high on the backdrop. Young Whitmer. Uh, He's getting a lesson here. Maybe this toughest test to date in the HWA oh. facing uptown D'Lo Brown. Thought he had him. You know, I'll tell you, D'Lo Brown really. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, Steve Bradley. And Bradley. Oh, he just nailed B.J. Whitmer. And now D'Lo Brown on the roadside. Yeah. Yes, and he's going to work on D'Lo Brown. We were talking about Bradley just moments ago. Talk about it heating up. Man, it's on fire here as Bradley and nails D'Lo from behind. I think, oh my God, he just nailed him again with that. It's a road sign, it's a, a metal sign, and now he's, he's swinging at those referees. They're giving him plenty of room, but he better not do that unless he wants to get fined. Wow, the C he's gotten D'Lo Brown disqualified on this thing. Well, yeah, because he hit D'Lo's opponent, B.J. Whitmer, first, got the disqualification, and then unloaded on D'Lo Brown. Man, here we go again. Steve Bradley hits the ring. Down goes D'Lo, DQ'd, and then tries to put him out of action. The Brown versus Bradley feud keeps building, and when we return, Ray Steele faces Dean the Dream Jablonski. <laughs> 